So first thing, we took the four by fours, cut them, notched the four by sixes, so they set in here, flipped it upside down, and then we're using these corner braces. I didn't actually get outside corner braces, just inside corner braces, and we're gonna brace each of those, and then we'll flip it back over and level it. It was a cedar, by the way. So now we've flipped the frame over and have leveled it off. Tip, if you're trying to have, figure out how to flip a 12 foot frame over, you need to push it up on one side. You need to have another partner and grab midway through the 12 foot pieces, tilt it over, then back the back, back in like that. Now's the time to make sure it's square. Those corner bracket 90s and each of the boards being exactly 12 feet should handle most of that for you. We were off about an inch. So uh, the way you check is diagonal measurements. Yeah, you know the horse barn is square if it's the same from that diagonal as the distance from that diagonal. Make sure you either measure inside corner or outside corner and adjust it until it is exactly right. Then you're gonna fix it in place by screwing down through the top of this four by six into the bottom plate. I use nails on the bottom side. I am using the screws up here. Nails have a little better shear strength. The plan was to get this thing framed today, so we had to go to the studio lighting here. Um, ran into some trouble moving implements and figuring out where we were putting this thing and all that stuff. But um, actually only about two hours into this project, not even. All right, so six inches on center, or six feet on center. We're gonna measure from the side and then once we have the center mark, three quarters of an inch either side so we know where to put that center stuff. So unless you wanna move your wall and build on a flat thing, which I considered like you had a flatbed trailer or a pad, uh, you're gonna, for this middle, instead you're gonna to need to build up the ground so that it's equal with the sill plate and the top plate. Mark your six feet on either of them. We have the walls framed up and now we're gonna cut the ceiling joists that are gonna be part of the rafters. And uh, so we've notched out a inch and a half by three and a half, actually, because I just left these at 12, and 12 feet and a half inch. This is actually at three and three quarters. That's just to save making all the cuts on the end. Anyways, we're gonna notch it out and that's gonna set on top of the uh, top plate. Call it a day there, I got it braced up. And, but um, then have the lateral stability without the braces that I would like. Deciding that we're gonna run the rafters out long and get about triple the space. So that means that we're gonna do the rafters a little differently. So those are the ceiling joists that I cut. Exactly halfway, put some scrap uh, two by eight that I had um, straight up. And then with a hurricane tie, we're gonna run a kind of a ridge line beam there and then take a rafters. For our angle, we're going three and 16. It's gonna end up being a, a 11 degree cut at the, at the top, you'll see. Okay, as usually happens, got a little busy and forgot to show some steps, but basically ended up framing up the rafters. You can see how that was done. These extra stringers are mostly because we're gonna have some horses in here before we have the barn boards on, so I just need something to hold them. So we already set and framed one of the uh, walls on the overhang, and I'll just show you how we're determining how tall to make it, right? Okay, so leveled this skid. Um, again, cedar skids. Uh, and then take in a level going from the get a get a level bubble coming up from it and then measuring the distance to the raptor tail. Okay, so we got the uh, front edge on the stringers so that we're ready to nail on or screw on the uh, sheet metal. Can be using two inch sheet metal screws and the uh, standing ridge barn metal. Well, like a lot of things, uh, got into the project, forgot to take videos of it, but uh, finally got those horses out of the rain. And uh, there's the inside of the box stall, overhangs. Got dusty. And uh, trying out chips as, uh, as the, uh, the other side, board and batten siding. 
Kyle Page is about this $2,000 horse barn shelter that I built. It's 30 by 12. And here's some video of how I did it, start to finish. Thank you. 